A field in an object always has a type. For example, an amount field is numeric, a name field is text. Usually, in a form, you can show the field input according to its type. However, there are a few scenarios why you would want to display a field differently in the UI. The first reason is that you want to help with the data integrity. You may want to limit the input to a list of options. So instead of letting users type in a text input, you may want to provide a pick list with options in them. That way, you know for sure that the users can enter bad data. The second reason is that you can improve the UX. If a field is a date time field, but in this use case, you only need users to pick a date, then you would want to change the field's display type to just date picker instead of date and time picker. It's super easy to override field metadata in a squid page. When you add a model in its field, you can have an option to override field metadata for each field. That's where you can change the display type of this field in the UI. We should note that overriding the field metadata is only affecting how the field looks in the UI, and it does not change the field metadata in the database. So if you override a field to be displayed with a number slider instead of text in the UI, it will still be entered in the database as text. While we're investigating fields, let's also look at default value option. If you have a default value you would like to assert for a new records, you can enter that value here. For example, you have a quantity field and you would like that default value of every newly created item to be zero. Then you can put zero as the default value of the quantity field. It only affects new rows and not existing rows. You also have more advanced options for dynamically generating the default value either by using a field from another model, a page parameter, or by using a Salesforce user attribute. And that's it for our Squids tip this week. Thanks for watching and see you next time.